Okay guys, this is Nora with Wilton and Dylan with Flick 5 again. And again, I apologize if I get a little shaky here on the video. I just don't know how to do the uh, uh, on-screen um, video capture. So um, I'm going to have to hold my camera here while I'm talking. But uh, this is part two of uh, my sales and uh the title of the video is My First Month Sales and Are Pickers and Resellers Entrepreneurs or um, Investors? And this next part is going to discuss whether uh, we are actually entrepreneurs or if we're, um, you know, investors. And the reason I'm saying that is because um, I'm, I'm a newbie at this, so... Um, you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but um, I've heard a lot of different uh, stories. They, they keep saying, I've asked a lot of resellers or pickers, whatever you want to be called, um, you know, uh, how often you should go picking and things like that. And I've heard a lot of people say that you should never really stop picking. Um, uh, but... Uh, the way that I've calculated my first month of sales, um, technically I have made a profit on the actual items that I've sold, but I haven't made a profit as far as the overall amount that I spent on the picking items. Now that, that's kind of what I wanted to go over, and that's why I say I'm asking if we are entrepreneurs and actually making money. Um, or if we are buying items and using that as an investment on future sales, you know what I'm saying? Um, so, uh, I wanted to go over this. Um, I've actually made a, uh, spreadsheet here of all my, um, everything, every time I go out picking, uh, when I, very first thing I do when I come home is like, like right here, I'll put the date and the amount that I, total amount that I spent at the thrift store, and then I'll put uh, the item, all the list, all the items that I did for that day, I picked for that day, and um, you know how much I paid for it, where the location is. Um, then I've got uh, up here at the top, I've got my categories of. Uh, where I sold it, because I am planning on getting, doing more than just eBay, but right now I'm just doing eBay. I'm planning on doing Amazon, and uh, when the weather gets better, I'm hoping to do some, uh, go to the, um, uh, uh, what do you call it, the flea market, and um, all that. So, uh, and then I've got, so I'll have to put the location of where I've actually sold stuff, or where I got it. And then I put the price it sold for, if it sold. Um, then over here I've got the eBay fees, the final value fee, the final value fee on the shipping, if there's any, um, PayPal fees, uh, any listing fees I might have, and then the shipping cost here. I haven't really filled that in too much, but cause I've done all my shipping listing as a uh, group every time I go to the thrift store and then I put you know like an actual profit I haven't filled that in as of yet but I've just done it as a whole and calculated everything so I'm going to go over um, my calculations here um, I've gone down to the bottom of the page here periodically after about four or five or six or seven visits to different thrift stores I'm periodically going to put and here, a listing of all my sales. Um, if you guys can see that, it's a listing of all my sales. Um, you know, the sales, the cost of the items I actually sold that I actually bought it for. Uh, my eBay fees and PayPal fees and the shipping costs. So, um, but I went ahead and put it on a... Uh, Word uh, program here so you can see it a little bit better. 
and back it out here a little bit so you can see it. It's my first month's reselling uh, amount. Um, the number of items that I've actually bought is 99 items that I'm going to be reselling. I bought a little bit more because I bought like jeans for myself and stuff, but I'm not including that. Um, I sold 17 out of the 99 items that I have picked so far. And um, I have 83 items left. Okay. So uh, the amount, the bought items cost me, now it, and this includes all 99 items that I bought. Uh, plus, you know, the, uh, I, well, actually, I think I took out the stuff that I kept, like my jeans and stuff like that. So, the actual bought item cost was $320.45, and that was as of January 17th, 2013, which was the last time, well, it's not the last time I went to the thrift store, but that's the last time I've calculated it. And um, I went just day before yesterday, and I'll be showing you guys that video on that haul uh, probably tomorrow. But um, anyway, my bought item cost was $320.45, okay? Now, the total sales with the shipping uh, that I've done, now this includes the shipping cost, so I haven't taken the cost out for the shipping yet on this amount. But my total sales were uh, $346.83. And that was as of January 21st, 13, uh, which was the last sale that I had. Now, um, I've done the calculations two different ways here. Um, I did the cost of the 17 items that I actually sold. Now, the 17 items from the thrift store that I bought cost me $48.48. Okay? Now, the uh, eBay and PayPal fees that I had to pay for those items, plus, you know, the, the listing fees for some of the other items that I did, but I took out the total amount of eBay and PayPal fees and calculated those, and that comes to $50.80. And the uh, shipping cost that I've had to pay out so far for the 17 items that I shipped off was $106.49. Um, actually, I think that shipping cost includes that one package. I, no, it doesn't include that one package I haven't shipped off yet, no. But uh, my total shipping cost is $106.49. Uh, so the profit on the items that I sold um, what I did is I took uh, the total amount of the uh, sales, which was three forty six eighty three minus the cost of the items that I purchased, those seventeen items, which is forty eight uh, forty eight then subtracted the eBay and PayPal fees, which is fifty dollars and 80 cents, and then I subtract the shipping cost, which was 106.49. And that comes to a, an actual profit on those 17 items. Ooh, I'm sorry, I'm not even focused on it. So, uh, but you heard what I was doing, the uh, calculations there. Um, my actual profit on the 17 items that I sold was one hundred and forty one dollars and six cents now that's actually a really good decent profit I think uh, for only seventeen items so uh, but what I'm going to do here now is um, take uh, the total sales which is three forty six eighty three minus Okay, now I'm going to do this with the uh, total amount of items that I've purchased, all 99 items. The 99 items that I bought is $320.45, so I'm going to subtract that. $320.45, okay? And then what I'm going to do is go ahead and 
I'm not going to subtract the 17 items because that's included in the 320.45. Then I'm going to subtract the eBay and PayPal fees, which is $50.80. And then I'm going to subtract the shipping cost, which is $106.49. Okay, and that puts me in the negative for $130.91. So for me to break even um, for all 99 items that I purchased, um, I still need to sell $130.91 worth. So that's why I'm asking um, when you keep, say to keep on picking, constantly keep picking items, if you're actually investing in your future sales or or basically investing in future sales or, you know, um, if you look at it the first way that I calculated it, you can say, yeah, I'm an entrepreneur and I'm actually, you know, making money. But if you take it as a whole, as far as all the items that you actually purchase, are you actually really making a good, pro making a full profit? Now I know a lot of it has to do with the items that you purchase and how much of a, a profit you actually make on each individual item, which is absolutely true. You know, now the 17 items, if I had gained like, you know, 40, 50 bucks per item. You know, as a pro, you know, past what I paid for it, then I would probably be breaking close to even on the 90 items that I actually did per or 99 items I purchased. So, you know, uh, I'm just evaluating my sales at this point and realizing that I need to be a little bit more picky about what I do pick from the thrift stores and other places that I might get stuff because, um, I need to make a bigger profit on the items that I get. Uh, most of the items that I'm picking right now, like my biggest items right now that are selling are probably t-shirts and mugs, and that might be my niche items, you know, that I'll end up selling the most of. Um, but I'd have to put make a bigger volume of sales on those to break even with what I actually will be buying, you know. And those uh, those particular items, I would I actually do get cheaper and make a bigger profit on it rather than you know some of the toys or bigger items that I might have to pay six or seven dollars for you know or you know five dollars or whatever you know and not make as big a profit. So I'm trying to evaluate my situation here and make sure that I'm not buying more than what I'm actually going to try to make you know. Um, but I know in some ways that if you keep picking, you're really just investing in potential future sales. And I've noticed that a lot of the items that I've picked, there's 83 items that I have left, um, you know, I've listed and relisted and relisted, you know, uh, two or three times. And I need to either find another avenue where I could sell them or try to sell them for the close to the price where I bought them and just cut it as a um, not really a loss but try to break even on the items that I actually bought you know and just start over and try to buy better items so um, that's my uh, take on my um, actual uh, sales for the first month that I've been picking officially so uh, I hope that uh, you guys have uh, you know, you've learned something from this from a newbie uh, reseller or picker and um, you know uh, I just hope some of the other newbies uh, learn to uh, evaluate their actual sales this way as well and um, I hope it's been a little helpful so thanks for watching and I'll be talking to you guys later